Welcome to the vBrown Bag Build Day with HPE SimpliVity here in Houston. And to talk about some use cases where customers are seeing benefits from the SimpliVity platform, I'm joined by Brian Knudsen. Hey Al. So, where have customers found great value from SimpliVity's solutions? Yeah, yeah. So we've we we started with a core data center. You know, we wanted to work on that continuing the the virtualization evolution. VMware came in, did amazing things in our data center. We wanted to continue to do those amazing things for customers. So we really focused on that core data center where most customers were getting the most value out of VMware. Um, so we, we wanted to make sure it could perform. We wanted to make sure it could protect were really the two of the biggest use cases. Um, the way that we protect, of course, is based in data efficiency, deduplication compression, maintaining it in that state. Natural evolution of that then became, well, what about remote sites? So robo, um, SMB, small offices, multiple data centers became another big use case for us um, where moving data between sites was, a, was, an, was an important thing for customers. Um, because of the fact that we dedupe it and compress it, we were able to move it between sites by maintaining it in that state. And that very much reduced amount of data that's moved every time you're doing that deduped and compressed copy means that customers aren't paying nearly as much for their WAN bandwidth down to each site. And that would make you very popular with anybody with a lot of sites. Yeah, absolutely. And, and very popular with customers who simply can't get bigger pipes, um, whether it's they need to get data moved across there because they have to, um, or because they assume they can't ever do disaster recovery, for example, because they just can't get their data across. There's a drilling rig somewhere out in the middle of nowhere, but it's yep. doing exploratory, and so there's high value data there. Yes. Uh, yet it's in a dangerous place where it could get destroyed at any moment. Yep, yep, that's exactly right. And that's that's a exact customer story that we have um, that where they had Which a satellite I, up I have to say, I wasn't prepped for that. I just made it up off the top <laughs> of my head. So. No, I mean, the satellite is about as bad as bandwidth as you could possibly hope for and the most latency you could possibly hope for when you're trying to sell a efficiency across WAN story. And we have we have a customer that has a ship um, out on out attached to an oil rig and they couldn't get their data out in a 24-hour period and that was putting things at risk. Um, even when that ship came to shore, they didn't stay on shore long enough to get the data off with a hard wire. So they were looking for WAN efficiencies. They heard some of our story. They said, well, we do have an issue in this small data center we have. Um, we have a management problem because we don't have IT people on this limited staff ship. Um, so the, the, the interface capabilities of managing multiple sites in one interface, mm -hmm. the WAN efficiencies that we provide, and the reduction in the, the data center were bang, bang, bang for that customer. It was an easy sell at that point. Um, so that hit those two main main points that we were really aiming for. Um, over time, we've, we've seen VDI evolve as a big use case for us. It took a little bit of tweaking and preparation of the underlying file system that we that we have in order to really accommodate that use case. And unlike most hyperconverged vendors, we didn't start with VDI. Mm -hmm. uh, we were really focused on the core data center. So the performance of VDI is, is really skyrocketed for us to the point where we've kind of overtaken everybody in our capabilities for VDI. Um, and actually worked very closely with Log and BSI um, to, to get validated results and, and be able to prove and show that, yeah, these are these are real results. These are legit results. They're not pie in the sky numbers that have been faked up. And that was, I know my first reaction when I heard about those Log and BSI results were this the testing methodology must be wrong because these are not the numbers you expect yeah. from a from a two socket server. Yeah, and and knowing you know the not great results we had initially, when I first saw those results, I was even more baffled. Um, and to be able to see that time and time again, we've had log and VSI validate results three different times um, is is just amazing. Um, having done a lot of VDI in the past myself. Mm. Um, of course, cloud computing has been a big one for us as well. Um, you know, they've they've got. Simplification is as important in a cloud computing use case. We've got um, service providers who use SimpliVity as their underlying technology. So being able to, to get in there, simplify the interface, um, our capabilities around REST API, being able to automate the environment is huge for them, um, especially when they need to protect customer data, move customer data between, you know, maybe they have multiple sites. Um, and integration with, with products like vRealize Automation um, make that even more appealing to, to some of them. Um, and of course, that's a that's a huge part of our industry these days. So we're we're kind of proud to be able to help help support, support cloud, cloud providers too. Yeah, and that'll be part of HPE and and stories around hybrid IT fits great with us because it ends up being a 
you know, very easy to implement on site, very easy to implement up in the cloud, and very easy to tie them together is, is a big part of the HP value prop these days. And then lots of API around it in order to, yep. to be software driven through some sort of orchestration system that overarches. Yep, awesome. exactly. Um, Obviously, in a core data center, tier one applications is, is a big use case. Um, the vast majority of our customers are running SQL Server and having very good results with it. Um, it's a, it's a high-end high -end application, and, and we've been able to serve those um, very successfully for customers. But usually when a DBA hears that the SQL Server is going to be placed on deduplicated and compressed storage, their first, first answer is, no, turn all of that off. <laughs> I don't want it because it's going to make my performance suffer. Yep. Yep, and with, with SimpliVity, with the OmniStack Accelerator card that we put in there to offload deduplication and compression, we're not taking capabilities away from the SQL servers in order to service that, and we're also being able to process it faster than you could with a generic Intel CPU and be able to get through that, those calculations a lot faster. Um, I think we're going to talk about that in another video, exactly how we write, write data through. Um, so yeah, in, in the end, we end up being able to service it very, very quickly and very, very efficiently. Um, data protection is is a huge one. We've talked on, about that a little bit. Um, so when customers, you know, most most SimpliVity people, when we go up and we present and we're going to talk about data protection specifically, one of the questions I always ask is, you know, who here likes their backup product? <laughs> and of course, nobody has a great story there. Everybody likes the backup product that they've just decided to buy. Yes. But have not yet implemented. Yes. Yeah, give it six months and, and your tune may change. Um, in fact, we've had customers buy high-end integrated backup solutions that a year later need to replace their servers and storage. They look at SimpliVity, they say, we love what you have, we don't care about the data protection piece. Okay, that's fair. They saw enough value, they still bought it. And a year later, now they're two years into that integrated backup product, a year into the SimpliVity backup, they've been playing with it, um, and, and they realize that there are certain, you know, I need a restore for ransomware, I need a quick restore for a developer, um, quick clone for for some other use case for testing and whatnot, um, they find that they've got a lot of value there and they start cutting back on their use of those other third-party products. And particularly since they are typically a, an additional license beyond the infrastructure, whereas the, yeah. the backup and the SimpliVity is all built into the one price. Exactly, exactly. So SimpliVity is not a net ad, it's something every customer has and they can choose how much they use it. Um, and we've seen, you know, 90% of our customers are using SimpliVity data protection at some level. And over half of those customers that are using it have eliminated some piece of their data protection scheme. So whether that be WAN replication, whether that be actual licensing of um, a Veeam or a, a backup exec or Commvault, something like that, they may not eliminate it completely, but they're at least reducing the amount of it and cutting out some, some chunk of that. Um, so it's, it's a significant cost savings for customers. Um, the last one we kind of talk about is test dev. And in test dev, we're talking about a lot of duplication of data. We're taking that virtual machine that's in production that has an error, and we're sending it back to the developers to say, why is this error existing? Um, we're, we're taking stuff from development and making it very easy to move it up into a test environment without having to package and redeploy that, that, pack, that uh, code. Mm -hmm. So by being able to manipulate things, move things around, take quick backups so I can test something crazy that's most likely going to make it blow up, but let's see how it blows up so we know how far to push, push it, um, makes it very easy for customers to deal with. Nice, and of course the REST API on the SimpliVity platform would play nicely into the automation tools that the test and dev engineers will be using. Yeah, absolutely. So custom code, very easy for them to figure out how it works through a web GUI that we've, we've provided on top of it. Um, for them to figure out how it works and then be able to, to code that in and put it into anything that can call REST API. Well, thank you very much, Brian. Yep. And thank you for watching. Do join us for more V Brown Bag videos on the SimpliVity 380 build day and keep watching the live stream of the build days.